uh, to the Minister of Finance, how much demand has there been for the tax calculator taxguide.govt.nz and what are some of the benefits it confirms from the tax changes on 1 October? The Honourable English. I'm pleased to confirm that the website taxguide.govt.nz has been popular since the budget and demand is increasing. As of this morning, the calculator has received almost half a million page views. Clearly, New Zealanders are keen to see the effect of the government's tax package for themselves. The website confirms that the GST income tax switch on the 1st of October will leave the average family about $25 a week better off, the average worker about $15 a week better off, and a couple on New Zealand Super about $11 a week better off. Uh, it is no wonder the tax guide is popular, and I hope more New Zealanders will follow the example of the opposition and spend a good deal of time looking at it. Hekia <laughs> Pirata. Uh, supplementary to the Minister of Finance. How will the government's tax package leave an average household better off? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, if you take the case of a couple in their early 40s jointly earning an average household income of $76,000 a year, one working full-time earning $50,000 and the other part-time earning $26,000. They have two children receiving working for families and pay $300 a week in mortgage repayments. Under the tax changes, this household gets a tax cut of $45.85 a week and pays an extra $21.14 in GST. So overall they are $24.71 a week ahead or nearly $1,284.92 a year better off. The Honourable David Cunliffe. To the Minister, does the calculator confirm the analysis by the New Zealand Institute of Economic Research that half of all households will be worse off as their tax cut is wiped out by rising food prices, GST and other one-off charges? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, no, Mr Speaker, it doesn't confirm that. Uh, what it confirms is that comparing the GST increase with the tax cuts, uh, most, in fact the vast majority of New Zealanders will be better off. And as I pointed out, as I pointed out to the member yesterday, uh, real after-tax incomes will in fact rise between October and December by 1.2 per cent, according to the Treasury. Supplementary to the uh, Minister of Finance, how will the government's tax package leave an average wage worker better off? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, if you take the example of a plumber earning $50,000 a year, the average full-time wage, paying $120 a week in rent and saving $50 a week, under the tax changes that person receives a tax cut of $29.42 a week and pays $13.51 more in GST. So overall they are $15.91 a week or $827.32 a year better off. But I would remind the House that these tax cuts aren't just about the hip pocket, they are about the vital need to rebalance our economy away from consumption and borrowing towards investment, exporting and saving. The Honourable David Cunliffe. Uh, Mr Speaker, how will the 160,000 people currently unemployed be better off when the consensus is that unemployment will remain at high levels for the next two years, while food prices, rents, and I don't know where he found $120, because it certainly wasn't in Auckland, and power prices continue to rise? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, all those people who are on a benefit will be compensated on the 1st of October. And the longer term benefit is simply that if we continue on an economic track where all growth is funded by borrowing and people spend too much, then none of those people without jobs will get proper jobs. With the kind of rebalancing that is assisted by this package, they have the hope of getting a real and sustainable job. Supplementary to the Minister of Finance, how will the government's tax package leave a couple receiving New Zealand superannuation better off? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, if you take the example of a married couple 
who are uh, retired and receiving New Zealand super with no investments but who own their own home, which is fairly typical. Under the tax changes, they get a tax cut of $11.52 a week plus a $10.12 increase in their New Zealand super payments because of the impact on tax cuts on the average wage. They will pay an extra $10.87, $10.87 a week in GST. Overall, the retired couple will be $10.77 a week better off, or $560 per year better off. Excellent. Question number two, Dr Russell Norman.